Good day, grade 9 math learners. For today, we're going to discuss another lesson about trigonometry. It were discussed in the previous videos about the different trigonometric identities. That list class is very important for this lesson. So prepare that list and let's get started. For today, we're going to discuss about proving trigonometric identities. Before we start with this lesson, you have some things to consider. The basic rule of proving trigonometric identities is to arrive at the sine and cosine when simplifying the one side of the equation. You may work on both sides of the equation but make sure you will not transfer it on the other side during the process of proving. Aside from that, if you are work on one side of the equation, wherein that side is more complicated than the other side, make sure to arrive with sine and cosine function. Lastly class, at the end of your proof, put a check mark if the value of the left hand side of the equation is the same with the right hand side of the equation. So for you to understand this better, let's proceed to the different examples. Example 1 Directions prove the following trigonometric identities. Cosine theta, second theta equals 1. So basically class, what are we going to do here? Here we're just going to Prove that cosine theta and second theta is equal to 1. So first thing that you're going to do, you're going to decide which side of the equation are you going to transform to, other, to the other one so that they will be equal. So for this, we're going to use the reciprocal identity of the second theta, which is second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. So in this equation class, we're going to substitute the second theta to 1 over cosine theta. And then we're going to multiply. Of course, if there's no denominator here, the denominator here is 1. So you will multiply cosine theta times 1 is cosine theta. And 1 times cosine theta that is cosine theta as well then cosine theta divided by cosine theta the answer there is 1 and now we already prove that cosine theta second theta is just equal to 1 then the two sides of the equation are now the same so they are equal and now we already prove show our proof in this trigonometric identity Let's proceed to number 2. Cos second theta all over second theta is equal to cotangent theta. So first thing that you're going to do class is you're going to decide which side of the equation you're going to do first or you're going to work on first. And I suggest that you work on the more complicated side, which is this one. So, we're going to find the trigonometric identities that would fit in this given. So, for this, we're going to use the reciprocal identity, which is cos second theta is equal to 1 over sine theta, and second theta is equal to 1 over cos sine theta. Then we will substitute this identity to the given. So second theta, we will substitute it with sine 1 over sine theta. And the second theta, we will substitute it with 1 over cosine theta. E equal to cotangent theta. With this class, we're going to simplify it further. So this is a complex fraction. So We'll just copy the numerator, 1 over sine theta, and have the operation, change the operation to multiplication, 
and get the reciprocal of the denominator. So the reciprocal of 1 over cosine theta is cosine theta over 1. So just get the inverse of it. Equal to cotangent theta. Then multiply it together, class. 1 times cosine theta, that will be cosine theta. And 1 times sine theta is sine theta. Still equal to cotangent theta. But, of course, we already discussed in the things to consider that our final answer should be in cosine and sine functions. So we don't want to see any other functions here aside from sine and cosine. So we will transform cotangent theta to sine cosine and that would be cosine theta over sine theta is equal to change cotangent theta to cosine theta over sine theta. And now they are equal. Now let's proceed to example number 3. 1 plus tangent squared theta all over tangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. Again, class, in this case, you need to choose which side you are going to work on. So, I again, I suggest that you work on the more complicated side, which is this side here. And we're going to choose an identity that we could substitute to either of this expression to make it simpler. So for us, we're going to change 1 plus tangent squared theta to second squared theta. Okay, so we're going to substitute now 1 plus tangent squared theta to second squared theta. So it will become second squared theta all over tangent squared theta equal to cos second squared theta. Next one class, we're going to work on this side still. So we will substitute 1 over cos sine squared theta to second squared theta. So we will make it as 1 over cos sine squared theta. All over and we will change also tangent squared theta to sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. So it will become second squared theta all over cosine squared theta equal to cosecant squared theta. In this manner class, this is a complex fraction, so copy the numerator 1 over cosine squared theta and change the operation to multiplication then get the reciprocal of the denominator which is this one so you get the inverse of this one so it will become cosine squared theta all over sine squared theta equal to cosecant squared theta in this manner class, you can cancel out cos sine squared theta and cos sine squared theta here. So it will become 1 over sine squared theta. And then class, we're going, I've said in the beginning of this video, that we need to have our final answer in sine cosine function only. So we need to transform cosecant squared theta into sine or cosine function. So the identity for this is 1 over sine squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. So we will change cosecant squared theta to 1 over sine squared theta. So as you can see class, they are already equal, the left and the right side of the equal sign. Therefore, we already prove this 
identity. And that would be all class for this discussion. I hope you have learned something and you are now ready to answer the formative assessment. Thank you and God bless grade 9.